This video will be a brief review on MLA formatting. I'll cover the following essential questions. How are parenthetical citations used correctly? How is the Works Cited page formatted correctly? And how is a handwritten essay formatted in MLA style? There are three basic rules for using parenthetical citations, or you might hear them referred to as internal citations because they're inside your actual essay. Take a moment right now to pause the video, read through the first rule and the first example, because I'm just going to keep talking. In this example, what you see is an actual quote, Steinbeck's actual words from The Grapes of Wrath, so I chose a different novel for these examples, and then immediately after that is where I have the citation. Steinbeck, 273. Notice that it's in parentheses. I don't have a comma after the name Steinbeck. I don't have a P with a period. I don't use the little number sign. It's just the author's last name and then the page number, and then the rest of my sentence continues. That's how your citations should look. Take a second now to pause the video, read through the second rule and the second example, because I'm just going to keep talking. Notice that in this case, I don't exactly have a quote, but I am still referencing something that happens in the novel, so I have to put my citation again right after I mentioned that detail. In this case though, my sentence ends right after the citation. So I have included the period after the citation and it is outside the closing parentheses. If you write a sentence like this where it ends after your citation, make sure that you put the period in the correct spot, please. Finally, take a second to look at that third rule because this will apply in this essay. You are going to have multiple citations from the same source in each of your body paragraphs. So what that means is the first citation should have Steinbeck and the page number. The second citation, which will be a little bit later, whatever your second concrete detail is, you don't have to put Steinbeck again. All you have to do is just put the page number in the parentheses and I'll know that it came from the work that you had cited earlier by Steinbeck. Here is an example of what your essay should look like if you choose to type it. So, in this case, what you're going to have is your one inch margins here and then also here. Your heading should of course be your name, then my name, then the course, English 3, and then the date that the essay is due. So that's 18 April 2014. You are not going to write it the way that I have it on the board. After that, you only press enter once because notice that everything is just double spaced. You can go ahead and put the title of your essay bold and centered. But then, after you hit enter one time, you'll have to go ahead and put the cursor back here on the left to line it up right here but of course don't forget to indent so that's where the first line of your essay should begin now also in MLA notice how this is gray it's not going to show up gray when you print but this your last name and then the page numbers need to go as a header don't just put the cursor here and hit space, 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 space all the way to the end because the distance here should actually be half an inch. And I'll be able to tell, okay, and, and trust me, you're going to drive yourself crazy trying to get it to line it up if you just type it there on the same line. So you might have to go here, look at where I am, I'm in the insert section. You might have to click here for header, but hopefully not. Most of the time with the newer word programs, if you just double click in that section, you'll see that now you're typing in the header. You want your header to be aligned to the right, you'll put your last name, then you might have to go to insert page number and you're going to want the option that has them in the top right hand corner. You might have to insert those first and then go back and type your last name. Don't 
type in one or else it's going to show up as one on every single page because the header does repeat on every single page. You want your last name to repeat but not the page number so that's why you've got to use the program to get those inserted correctly. So here's what our Works Cited page would look like if we type it. We have one inch margins here, half inch margins here, um, and then to get to a new page, so because this needs to be the final page, again in the insert menu you would need to go to page break here, you'll tell it um, one page or you know page break, and then it'll give you a new page, that's where you start typing the work Cited, and of course the heading will automatically appear again with your last name and now the last page number. Something that I want to call your attention to is how it's formatted in terms of indenting. It's not indented like the paragraphs of your essay would be. Notice that everything is justified to the left and that only the first line of each entry sticks out. So that you don't have to do this by hand, you want the little triangles up here at the top to look the way that I have them there. To move over the bottom one, you need to click the bottom triangle and it will move over with that bottom rectangle. If you click the rectangle, it moves both triangles and you don't want that. So you might have to play around with that a little bit, but you should be able to get the hang of it. When you're doing the actual entry for the work cited itself, you're going to begin with the name of the author inverted. That means you're going to put the first name last, then a comma, then the author's first name followed by a period. After that you're going to put the title of the book. Now, if you are typing it, well then of course it's going to be italicized the way that I have it here. I have seen in so many of your thesis statements you are putting the title of the book in quotation marks and that's not correct. I understand that it's a very short novel, but it's not a short story. Short story titles go in quotations, but novel titles need to be italicized if you're typing. So please make sure that you do that correctly. You will put a period after that as well. Then the last three pieces of information should be the city of publication, the publishing company, and then the year of publication. Please take a second to note the different types of punctuation that we have. After the city of publication, we have a colon. After the publishing company, we have a comma. Then after the year, the very last thing that we are going to have is a period. So you can see all of that here in this example that I've provided you. So this is the example of what a work cited entry would look like for The Grapes of Wrath by John Steinbeck. So here now you can see what information you need to have and then how it would look. Here's an example of how your essay can be handwritten and still formatted in MLA style. So I have the same exact information and it's still double spaced which just means that you've skipped lines. For the margins, maybe they're not exactly going to be one inch, but it's going to be close enough. The only thing that isn't will probably be your header. It's not exactly going to be half an inch, but that's okay. Just put it on the very top line and then off to the right and you'll be fine. Something that I do want you to be mindful of, though, is the line that's actually on the other side of the paper that you can't see here on this side. So I'm going to do it in pink because obviously it would be very light. Just you can't see it on this side because it's on the back of the paper which remember do not write on the back of the paper if you're writing it by hand. Basically just be mindful of where that line is. Don't write past it and then that's going to be how you have more or less your one inch margins on that side. Finally, here's an example of how your works cited page would look like if you were to write it by hand. So again, one of the things that I want you to notice is that you're definitely going to have more pages if you write it by hand. That's just the nature of, of handwriting. 
So again, you're going to put your header for this last page. The title will be right here and centered. And then again, you're going to follow the same indenting rules um, in terms of the first line sticks out here to the left and then everything else is indented. One of the other things that I wanted to show you though is how I wrote the title. Remember that when you handwrite, you can underline the titles of novels. So you italicize if you type, you underline if you write.